So let's go ahead and add some meta tags to our page. So I'm going to go up underneath my insert menu. I'm going to come down to HTML, head tags, and we'll start with keywords. When I add keywords to my page, I'm keeping in mind that they're for the search engine. Now, not all search engines see keywords the same. So I really need to make sure and go to that particular search engine that I'm going to target and find out how they prefer keywords and accessibility so I can make sure and use the search engine optimization best for that particular search engine. When I'm typing in my keywords, I want to keep in mind that I'm going to separate them with a comma. So if this is for that photography user group website, for instance, I would put in photography and I'd put a comma and maybe user group and a comma and any other keyword that might be of interest. I also want to keep in mind anything that might be misspelled and add that to my keyword selection also. And anything else that makes sense to go with your keywords. When I'm done, I'm just going to click OK. Now, before I say this, I want to make sure that my cursor is sitting in the right place. Now, I see that my cursor is sitting in my P tag in my code view. So I might want to copy this. And I'm going to do a, I'm on the PC, so I'm going to do a control C. Because what's going to happen when I click OK is that now that is going to be where my cursor happens to be sitting in my code view. Now, that's OK if it does, but this is a common mistake that we make when we're working in a split view, and then we'll just move it. So I'm going to go ahead and click OK, and I see that it is inside of my P tag. So I'm going to grab where this is sitting, the beginning part of that tag and the end part of that tag, and I am going to just move it after my title so that it's inside of the correct place. Normally, if you are just looking in the design view, and I have my cursor sitting in the design view, that won't happen. So let's go ahead and make sure that we have for our description that we have our cursor sitting in our design view. And then I'm going to go back up to Insert, HTML, Head Tags, and this time we'll add a description. Your description, you don't want to be extremely long. You don't want to put several paragraphs of a description in. The information on your page will also be important, so we want to make sure our description is kind of short and to the point. So I might say something like, Kansas City's premier photography user group. This will actually be used in your search engine description. Now we see that's actually in the right place. It's inside of our head tags and our meta name description content, etc. Now had I not typed that in here, I could have already typed that myself. So we'll leave that for a minute. I'm going to click on my return key, making sure that I'm in my code view when I do so. So I'm going to put my first little open part of my tag here, and I'm going to start typing. Now you'll notice that you've already got code hints up. So if I start typing meta, it's going to go to that particular tag, and then I can just click Enter or Return. When I hit a space now, I get the other options up. So it's not going to give you any options that you don't have available for that particular tag. So this is called code hinting, and it's extremely helpful when typing your own HTML. So I type name, and now what comes next? Well, this is going to be a description. So if I start typing my D, it goes straight to my description. Notice that I also had available for my keywords um, if I wanted. 
So now what? Well, now I need to put the content of what that description is in there. So I start typing content. It understands that. And you'll notice that it now has my quote marks. So even if you're brand new to HTML and writing your own HTML, as long as you're using your code hints, you can see that it will go ahead and put in the quote marks for you so that you don't have to remember to do that yourself. And I'm just going to type description here for the moment because we don't want to have to type that um, all over again. Now these are self-closing tags. So then all I would have to do is put a forward slash and end that particular tag so it doesn't have to worry about using an actual close tag that goes with that meta name. So regardless of whether you insert your meta tags through your insert menu or you actually type them yourself, it will help both you and your search engine optimization. Again, making sure that you go and take a look at that actual search engine itself, Google, Yahoo, etc., whichever one that you're targeting, and look up what will be best for their particular needs.